the origin and history of the apparition of St. Michael the Archangel in Gargano, Italy. In the southeast of Italy is a sanctuary dedicated to St. Michael the Archangel, high atop a rocky mountain called Monte Gargano. It is the oldest shrine dedicated to St. Michael in Western Europe and is not far from where Padre Pio lived, died, and is now buried at his now famous friary in San Giovanni Rotondo. Padre Pio was deeply devoted to the sanctuary of St. Michael atop Mount Gargano and would often direct penitents to climb the mountain to petition the Archangel's intercession in their battle against sin. Padre Pio's devotion to this hallowed place was not unique among prominent figures in history. The chronicles of the sanctuary record the visits of many emperors, kings, popes, and saints. Among them is Saint Francis of Assisi, who upon arriving there was so amazed by the holiness of the place that he felt unworthy to even enter and so only knelt in prayer and kissed the stone floor of the entrance. On May 8th, the church celebrates the origins of this sanctuary in the liturgical feast titled The Apparition of St. Michael Archangel, which commemorates an event that took place during the reign of Pope Calatius. In the year 492, as the story goes, a bull strayed from the herd of a rich landowner from the nearby town of Siponto, which lay at the foot of Mount Gargano. The owner searched for him anxiously in all the most hidden places and at last found him on top of the mountain, kneeling down at the opening of a cave. The owner, hoping to frighten the bull out of the cave, fired an arrow towards the animal. Quite shockingly, the arrow miraculously returned, wounding the man who fired it. In the face of such a strange and miraculous occurrence, the man and his companions who witnessed the event sought the counsel of their local bishop. The bishop recommended three days of prayer and fasting to discern the meaning behind the phenomenon. On the third day, these pious practices were answered when St. Michael appeared to the bishop and said, I am the Archangel Michael, and I am always in the presence of God. The cave is sacred to me. I have chosen it. I am its watchful custodian. There where the rock opens wide, the sins of men can be forgiven. What is asked for here in prayer will be granted. Therefore, go to the mountain and dedicate the grotto to the Christian religion. But because this mysterious mountain was almost impossible to reach, and it had also been the place of pagan cults, the bishop hesitated a long time to consecrate the grotto as a sanctuary of Christian worship. Meanwhile, Siponto was besieged by an invading pagan army from Naples and was on the verge of surrender. The bishop managed to obtain a three-day ceasefire and, as before, used those three days for prayer and fasting. Again, St. Michael appeared to the bishop and promised complete victory over the invaders. This message provided much-needed encouragement to the soldiers of Siponto, who took up the fight again with even greater vigor. It is said that during the ensuing battle, there were earthquakes, lightnings, and thunderbolts which helped defeat Siponto's enemies while demonstrating the power of the Archangel's intercession. After this second apparition and miracle in battle, the bishop felt total remorse for doubting the prudence of St. Michael's request. It was now the year 493, and he arranged for a grand procession to be made up the mountain so he could at last consecrate the grotto as a church. Joined by other bishops, along with the priests and people of the town, 
It was reported that eagles appeared over the people in the procession to shelter them from the rays of the sun with their outstretched wings. When they finally arrived at the mouth of the grotto, the archangel appeared again, stating, It is not your task to consecrate the basilica I built. I founded it myself, consecrated it, but you go in and go to this place, placed under my protection. St. Michael didn't wait for the bishop after all, and instead went and consecrated the grotto himself. When everyone processed inside, they were amazed to see an altar was already erected with a cross upon it. They also found a footprint of St. Michael embedded on the rock floor. The first Mass in the Grotto of St. Michael was then finally offered. Since that time, the Grotto has affectionately been called the Celestial Basilica, as it is the only proper Christian church never to have been consecrated by the human hands of a bishop. It has the honor of being personally consecrated by St. Michael, the Archangel, to whom it is dedicated. Let us pray on this feast day that Michael the Archangel, the general of the angelic host, who in the past defeated the devil and his cohort of rebellious demons and reversed the tides of war and plague, may come to our aid in this time of bitter trial. Thank you. 